In the beginning, the music made the friendships, and now the friendships make the music. That's a good point, Jim. We set out to create a kind of folklore for the coast, and we've hung around so long, people say we're part of the folklore now. That's right, Don. And the coast is still our inspiration, our subject, and the lead character of our show. Bland, why don't you tell the people about tonight's featured nonprofit? Folks, we've been doing shows for the North Carolina Coastal Federation since 1986. The Federation is the only education, conservation, and advocacy group that covers the entire coast, working since 1982 to protect and restore the North Carolina coast. Working with people from all walks of life for clean water, living shorelines that reduce sound side erosion, thriving oysters that support the environment and the economy, sound coastal management, and a coast free of debris. Their motto? Working together for a healthy coast. We are happy to devote and dedicate tonight's King Mackerel and the Blues are running to the North Carolina Coastal Federation. The Carolina Coast. Whether you grew up there, vacationed at the beach with your family as a kid, or discovered its charms just last year, if you've spent time down east, you'll always carry with you some of that coastal magic. Like shag dancing. Pier fishing. Joy riding. Yeah. Ghosts. Hurricanes. Shifting sand. Shipwrecks. Shag dancing. Yeah. Maurice Williams and the Zodiac. The reproductive habits of the bluefish. Whoa, oh my. Folks, we've got all that and more. We call our show King Mackerel and the Blues are Running. And I want to tell you that we couldn't have done it without a lot of help from some special people who understand what we're talking about. We want to thank Carolina Power and Light. They've got the power to lead. Vanguard Cellular One for the way you live and work. And we sure want to thank viewers like you. King Michael and the Blues are running. And the Blues are running. You know they are. Good evening. I'm Bland Simpson of the Coastal Cohorts. Welcome to King Mackerel. Hey. Now, folks, down on the coast. Hey, Bland! Whoa! Comes our mystic fisherman, Cohort Jim Wan. <laughs> Jim, what have you got there? Oh, Bland, this is a big old King Mackerel, denizen of the fathomless depths. 43 pounds, 11 ounces. Nice work. Ah, uh, you know me. If the hook's wet, I'm happy. Cohorts! Whoa, Cohorts. Dixon! Hey, Dixon! They speak about a real force of nature. Here's our rhythm and blues cohort, Don Dixon. Boys! Roho, goggle eyes, Zebco man. Catch them fish as good as you can. Raise the corn cake. Tide rolls in. Time is just about gone. All that's left to think about is the fish and coming on. Who's got the latest information? Coast Guard or charter boat crews? Could be the kid down at the Station saying, buddy, have you heard the news? Hey, buddy, have you heard the news? King Mackerel and the Blues are running all along the coast. Talk about fish, and you can't give the fish away. Everybody's lucky. October and the moon is coming, but the clouds won't give up the ghost. Oh, let the good weather hold one more day. 
here on the Outer Banks. Winds are currently from the northeast to 10 to 15 knots. Coast Guard has lifted yesterday's small craft warnings from Cape Henry to Cape Fear. Seas are running one to two feet above normal, though, so stay tuned to the Weather Channel. Ocean temperature off Hatter, so Coat and Core Banks averaging 68 degrees. Air temperature probably won't break a high of 60. But it's a beautiful day all along the Carolina coast, and all reports are the fishing's excellent. King Mackerel and the Blues are running all along the coast. We talk about fishing, you can't give the fish away. Everybody's lucky. October and the moon is coming, but the clouds won't give up the ghost. Oh, let the good weather hold one more day. Wake up, we're moving out. Four-wheel drive will take us where we're going, yeah. If it don't, we're missing out. You wanna be there before dawn. But when the sun is finally set, there's sand in everybody's shoes, yeah. Coolers full of fish, there ain't nobody fretting, no, it's... Hey, buddy, have you heard the news? King Mackerel and the Blues are running all along the coast. Talk about fishing, you can't give the fish away. Everybody's lucky, October and the moon is coming, but the clouds won't give up the ghost. Oh, let the good weather hold one more day. Let the good weather let the good hold. Weather hold. Let, it hold. Let, the good, let the good weather hold. Let the good weather hold. Let it hold. Let the good weather hold. Oh, oh, oh. One more day. Now, folks, we've all spent a lot of time down around the coast. Let's get our satellite to click in. <laughs> Take a look at Core Sound, Lake Madame Mesquite, Pamlico Sound, Cedar Island. Let's zoom in on old Corn Cake Inlet. Yeah, come right down there. That's where my cohorts, Jim Wan and Don Dixon, and I like to spend a lot of our time. Down at Corn Cake, we like to stay at the old Corn Cake Inlet Inn. Corn cake is kind of rustic, we know that, but the alternative is pretty busy. We like that unspoiled, relaxed, edge of the sea experience. And we really like and admire Miss Maddie Jewell. She's been running the corn cake for 35 years. She feeds us right, 8.30, 12.30, 6 o'clock, be on time. Fishing is great around the corn cake, you can see that. Kids like it out there, out on the old wooden fishing pier. And there's just plenty to do to amuse yourself, or you can just sit back and relax. Do be careful where you sit, though. <laughs> You'll be all right. About the only drawback down our way is, well, every fall, it's the high winds and heavy surf of hurricane season. Well, you can see a hurricane coming from a long way off, but once it gets there, there's just not much you can do about it. Every fall, there's a danger, and last fall, it got us. Blew the roof off the corn cake inlet in, ruined the old wooden fishing pier. Now, we're trying to raise the cash to help Miss Maddie build it back like it was, because if she can't, she's going to have to sell out to the Greed Head Development Corporation. <laughs> we can't let that happen. want to thank you all. Ticket proceeds and all go into this. We're going to get it built back like it was, so we can get back to doing what we do best, fishing. Well, you've been fishing all your life, Bland. Jim, I was born fishing. A little town called Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Get them out. On the banks of the Pasquotank River as it rolls down to Albemarle Sound. Right there. Sound side. Right, or as the old, old timers refer to it, sound side. Corn Cake Inlet, of course, is right out on the Atlantic Ocean. Right there, the cutting edge. Actually, there was no inlet at Corn Cake until 1938, Hurricane Jane opened her up. Till then, Corn Cake was known ecologically as a haven for horseshoe crabs. Bland, the horseshoe crab isn't a crab at all. It's a spider. It's a giant spider with a helmet and a spine. I want to thank you all for coming out tonight to help us raise the corn cake. Late at night, armies of them come out to crawl. Don, you keep on like this, nobody's going to want to come to the corn cake once it's raised. Bland, the horseshoe crab's endangered. It's an endangered species. Endangered by the greed heads. 
Greed heads. This is what we're up against, folks. Greed head sees the big high rise when he's looking at a stretch of sand. He ain't thinking about wind or tide or anything nature planned. Oh, no, not anything. That nature planned. Greed head sees a barrel of box, 15 stories tall. He ain't thinking about the geese and the ducks who won't come back in the fall. No, they won't. Come back in the fall. Oh, there's a safe harbor when the clouds are gathering. If we can raise the corn cake, the corn cake in it in. Yeah, there's a safe harbor where you can meet a friend. So raise a glass to the corn cake, the corn cake in it in. Greedhead sees a passel of yachts and guys with a lot of gold chains. Cohort sees a clean fishing spot, and that's the way it's gotta remain. That's the way, the way it's gotta remain. Greedhead sees a high span bridge and toll booth turnstiles. Cohort sees a big sand dune ridge and nothing for miles and miles. No, not nothing. Nothing! Nothing for miles and miles. Oh, there's a safe harbor. We can raise the corn cake, the corn cake in it in. Yeah, there's a safe harbor where you can meet a friend. So raise a glass to the corn cake, corn cake in it in. Miss Jewel serve you three good meals, but you gotta be there on time. Phone on the wall for a local call, and she won't take your dime. She's been our friend for all these years. Corn cake in can't disappear. We gonna help out all we can. We want you folks to understand. We're singing out tonight just so you'll know that the coastal cohorts are on the road. Well, there's a safe harbor when the clouds are gathering. Yeah, so safe. We can raise the corn cake. The corn cake in the end. Yeah, there's a safe harbor where you can meet a friend. Sing it, good friend. Raise a glass to the corn. You know what I really miss about the corn cake is the food. Oh, yeah. Miss Maddie's blackened bluefish with hush puppies and slaw. The Halloween oyster roast with hush puppies and slaw. <laughs> the crab derby with hush puppies but hold the slaw. You know, I could just eat the crab derby up back before there got to be too few crabs in the sound. Greed heads. Messing with the natural order of things. You know, Miss Maddie always says the natural order of things is to dine right and dine on time. Now we've kind of adopted that as a cohort motto. <laughs> dine right and dine, dine on, on time. time. Yeah. Dine right on time. Well, it starts with a plant at the bottom of the sea. Something green and slimy Free lunch for a water flea a House salad at the bottom of the sea oh, oh, oh. A friend of shrimp and eats at flea Maybe he gets lucky and he eats two or three But that mighty sardine is the shrimp's downfall when it hits my cracker, I'm eating them all Cause I'm the king King of the food chain yeah. Well, the big black bass got to watch his back Looking out for a shark attack But that shark will score, you know that it will King! 
He's the king. I'm the king. King, king of the food chain. King of the food chain. Yeah. King of the food chain. I'm the king. He's the king. I'm the king. Maddie's cooking was so good. I remember the first time I was ever on the coast. Must have been about 10 or 11 years old. I came over with my family, and a whole bunch of us were staying down on Half Moon Island. But when we heard about the table Miss Maddie set, why, well, we all just moved on up to the corn cake. Now that summer, I palled around with a girl named Georgia Rose. She was a little older than I was, and she was into all kinds of things I had never even considered. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Metaphysical things. <laughs> and one day we were walking in the dunes and out of the blue she said, let's dig here. Inside of five minutes I had turned up this carved stone point of a spear. And I said, Georgia Rose, this is old. Where'd it come from, you reckon? She said, from that place in the sea where all the lost things wind up. I said, come on, an Indian made this. She said, sure, he made it. But he lost it, didn't he? Just like you're going to lose it. Mmm. <laughs> I said, I'm never going to lose this. <laughs> but I did. I found a spear point in the sand It felt almost alive in my hand Oh, timeless Where is the man Who stood still waiting for a flash in the water Right where I stand Oh, timeless Where is the man Found a conch shell washed up on shore. Nothing inside where there once was before. Oh, timeless, is there more? When I put the shell to my ear in the dark, I can hear you roar. Oh, timeless, is there more? When the moon makes a ribbon on the water, it's a highway to ride. Everything that you ever wanted is on the other side. Over that horizon, someday I'll abide. Timeless as the tide. Beaches are moving year after year. Sand You know the man's time will 
will disappear But the wind and the water will steal by Found a spear point in the sand It felt almost alive in my hand Oh, timeless, where is the man Who stood still waiting for the moon on the water Right where I stand Oh, timeless, where is the man? The water still above. Where is the man? The water still Did he go above. where the lost things go? Born out still on the above. tide. The wind and the water. The wind and the water. The wind and the water still. Yeah, Jim. What is that? Sounds like a hellacious outboard motor. I think it's the hellacious diesel on the headboat, Jim. Oh, the headboat. Oh, come on. Man cannot live by spear point alone. No, no. Let's go fishing. Yeah, yeah. Deep sea fishing. Deep sea. Get out on that headboat, right? Out on it. Ten dollars a head. Anybody want to go? Yeah, okay. Good, <laughs> good. All right, all right. How about you, Blast? Sign me up. <laughs> Don't forget the drama, mean. Trolling in the Gulf Stream, 90 miles east. Sun climbing high and the bait's down deep. Everybody's searching for that cooler of brew I left it sitting in the Subaru Ain't that something? Ain't it something for the birds to pick? Ain't that something? Ain't it enough to make a piece of man sick? How come I always get the end of that stick Where there's nothing but something for the birds to pick? I hooked up on a marlin of record book size Forty-five hours with the sweat in my eyes Down in the water, some hungry and dark Dinner for a hammerhead shark. Ain't that something? Ain't it something for the birds to pick? Ain't that something? Ain't it to make a fish a man sick? How come I always get the end of that stick where there's nothing but something for the birds to pick? should have been here about a week ago last Thursday. Ain't that something? Ain't it something for the birds to pick? Ain't that something? Ain't it enough to make a fish a man sick? How come I always get the end of that stick where there's nothing but something for the birds to pick? Fishing, fishing, that's all you boys ever think about. Oh, yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, I didn't go to the beach to fish. I went to the beach to cruise. <laughs> all along the main drag from Ocean Drive to Myrtle Beach, there'd be hundreds, thousands of us with our pre-1973 Arab oil crisis embargo attitudes. <laughs> Driving along on our 327 Chevys, 394 barrel Fords, four or five miles an hour. Big ol' engines get so hot, you gotta prop up the hoods with beer cans. Prop up the hoods with beer cans? Yeah, so the air could get to the engine. You got it, Jim. Wait a minute, Don. Back then, you didn't even have a car. I kinda had a car. See, my grandmama lived in Conway, South Carolina, and I used to use her car. She had a great car, a 1963 T-Bird that she won at Bingo. Bingo? bingo. Yeah, Bingo. There was one problem. I had to back it from Conway to Ocean Drive so the mileage would not show up on the speedometer. How far was that, Don? It's about 17 miles, Bland. Joy Come on, I didn't do it every night, just Wednesdays when she was at prayer meeting. Joy I would only ride. keep it an hour or two, three at the most. I was always home by dawn. Joy ride, joy ride. Takes thirty dollars. 
is to fill up the tank Joy ride That money won't do me no good Sitting in the bank Joy ride mm, When it's all said and done You got to have your fun I can't be the only one to joy ride Joy ride Joy, joy ride Joy ride joy in the sand <laughs> it's there for good but that's okay it is no it's just one thing yeah i don't understand what's that whose idea was this anyway <laughs> whose idea was it to go for a ride down at the beach at the dead low tide i mean it's been fun could have stayed at the cottage, could have stayed at the house High tide in the middle of the night Triple A don't answer calls, way up here am I right? Right So whose idea was this anyway? What are we gonna tell Grandma? I don't know He don't know They don't know What are we gonna tell the owner of the car? Boys, taking that poor old woman's car and driving it into the ocean. Ocean! They were scratching off on the hard sand, ma'am, and I believe they scratched too hard. That car was sucked under. Sucked! At the artificial reef. Under. Yep. Well, now those boys are gonna be pulling 250 hours of community service apiece. Doing what? Parking cars! Oh, no. Whose idea was it to go on a spree? The joy riding by the edge of the sea. I mean, it's been fun, but we should have stayed home. Should have stayed at the cottage, should have stayed at the house. High tide in the middle of the night. That car's an artificial reef from now on. Am I right? It's a reef. So whose idea was this anyway? Hey, hey, hey. Whose idea was this? Anyway I was parking one night at the fishing pier, holding my baby so close, so near. I heard this noise, what could it be? It's old Hubcap stripping my tires off me. I said, Hubcap, don't you do that stuff. He said, three's a crowd, but four's enough. You can just give me a little more time. I can sell your wheels at your county, county line. Whoa, well, people, you don't never know who you're going to meet, who's going to show what it is, what it's going to be. Way down yonder, but down by the edge of the sea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I remember when surfing hit the East Coast, everybody wanting to do it the most. Down Nags Head where we once went, a fella named Gov had boards for rent. He said, boys, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll even throw in free lessons, too. He didn't say what made this sport so rough. The Carolina waves ain't big, big enough. enough. Whoa, people, you don't never know who you're going to meet, who's going to show 
what it is, what it's going to be. Way down yonder, but down by the edge of the sea. Oh. Oh. Another thing about Gov, he had this motel. Well, it was four rooms anyway, and two of them were sweeter rooms, connected not by a door, Ruby, but by he took a sledgehammer and knocked a hole in the wall. We rented the suite. $20 cash, put it down on the counter, went on down to check into our room. That's when we found out no plumbing. Went back to the front desk to complain, but by then, Gov had already converted our cash into several cases of beer, sitting out in the Jeep. He said, oh, boys, well, uh, uh, come uh, take a ride with me in the Jeep, I'll explain. So we took a ride with him in the Jeep. Time we got back, three or four hours later. Yeah? We just didn't care anymore. <laughs> well, I liked Miss Maddie's better anyway. No, we were telling you about Miss Maddie Jewel. Well, she's shocked. She ain't nobody's fool. She can run that old hotel, and everybody loves her. Danabelle. Long come a hurricane, powerful big. Knocked down her pier like a bunch of twigs, she said. Boys, don't you worry about a thing. We'll be back in business by, by next spring. spring. Whoa, people, people, you don't never know who you're going to meet, who's going to show what it is, what it's going to be. Way down yonder, but down by the edge of the wall, people, you don't never know who you're going to meet, who's going to show what it is, what it's going to be. Way down yonder, but down by the edge of the down by the edge of the sea. We met one summer on Half Moon Island. She was thirteen, I was. Eleven at least I knew there was something Different about Georgia Rose By the way she held her Arms out to the dark Blue sea Now on our bikes we'd see The postman Mr. Murdoch He'd holler out Hey kids, how's the ride? One day Georgia Rose said she saw a cloud around him Next morning we heard Mr. Murdoch had a heart attack and died Georgia Rose came to me and said don't tell It's been going on so long I can't turn it off I see things that are going to happen I hate it, I can't help it, it's not my fault Go home and cry your eyes out It'll do no good, you know You're born to see the future If your name is Georgia Rose but We didn't say anything about it the rest of the summer Vacation ended and we drove home to our different towns I went to Woolworths and bought my first stationery Box of blue with a blue stripe Box of brown with a brown Georgia Rose sent me these neat chatty letters Until one day in February a scrawled card came Unlike the rest it said don't worry about your father He'll be much happier, don't fear, no one's to blame the Next morning daddy gathered us around him Said he was in love and he was going away He hugged us and cried and drove out the drive we went on to school, it was Valentine's Day Go home and cry your eyes out It'll do no good, you know You're bound to feel the future If your friend is Georgia Rose We didn't write any more then And it was a long, long time August 21st at the corn cake It was my birthday, friends were with me Sitting on the screen porch, celebrating Off in the dunes I saw a woman stretch her arms out to the sea I left the party and walked out to her She said without turning what took you so long In her eyes I saw a great ruined beauty in that instant, who knows 
what it was she saw Georgia Rose lived with me for a time out of time We had a passion that was all in all One day her eyes changed and I knew she was saying I hate it, I can't help it, it's not my fault, no Go home and cry your eyes out It'll do no good to know You're gonna lose the future If your love is Georgia Rose Time passed, and I found a new woman Maybe that's what Georgia Rose saw One day I spied her on the main street of my city She was trying to pretend I was someone she didn't know I said, Georgia Rose, and she turned back to me With her hair gone stringy and circles underneath her eyes She said, I'm on my way to meet my new husband I don't see that he changes, lies, or dies She said, I'm not in love, but I don't care Maybe that's the way it has to be I deserve a life and a future too I deserve not to see Go home and cry your eyes out It'll do no good, you know If your name is Georgia Rose Go home and cry your eyes out It'll do no good, you know You're born to see the future If your name is Georgia Rose Georgia Rose Georgia
future has been known to happen on the coast with a certain suddenness. Now, back in 1903, a telegram went out from Kitty Hawk, where two young men from Ohio had been camping out and tinkering with a homemade glider. Wilbur? Orville? The telegram read, Success! Success. Four flights Thursday morning, all against 21 mile wind. Started from level with engine power alone. Average speed through air, 31 miles. Longest, 57 seconds. Inform Press, Home Christmas. Now, the figures were a little wrong because the telegraph operator misread Orville's hasty penciled scrawl. But the fact remains that two young bicycle mechanics had designed, constructed, and flown for the first time ever a practical airplane. One time down at Kitty Hawk, Jim and I found a small, rusty electric motor that somebody had pitched out into the sand. We were pretty sure we could build an airplane out of this piece of trash. We were about eight years old at the time. But lacking the skills and perseverance of the Wright brothers, we gave up after a couple of days. Well, if we couldn't fly, at least we could jump and roll on the sand dunes. And our favorite, of course, was the biggest, the great sand mountain called Jockey's Ridge. I walked up there with my father, one of my earliest memories of him, in fact. The wind was really blowing, sand stinging my legs. It hurt, and I was crying. Well, he picked me up and sang me a song and made me feel better. We were climbing up that big tawny hill. Looked like it was blowing away, but it's 25 years ago to the day, and it's still right where we left it. Right where it was So Papa, here's your sand mountain song I'll be along in a while We'll be going in style With that old 52 Dodge To somebody's tumble down hunting lodge We'll be singing your old sand mountain song We're trying hard to batten the house Hurricane about to happen our way You said this was when the captain would say Hey shorty, tell us a story Tell us a tale So Papa, here's your sand mountain song I'll be along in a while We'll be going in style that old 52 Dodge to somebody's tumble down hunting lodge. We'll be singing your old sand mountain song. Mm -hmm. Somewhere there's a ship on the sail, a lighthouse shining and a big blue whale. Fish cooking a fire on the beach. They say there's treasure way down, way down in the deep. While we were climbing up that big tawny hill Just to see what we could see Look right out over the main Waves breaking again and again Still they keep on rolling Still rolling in Just like back then Papa, here's your sand mountain song I'll be along in a while We'll be going in style in That old 52 Dodge To somebody's tumble down hunting lodge We'll be singing your old sand mountain song Talking this way, I said, Oi, reckon. 
I don't mind talking, I'm born on the south side, south side, so's my wife, so's my wife, sound side, ooh, sound side life. No telling, telling me it's better out there, I said no telling, telling me it's better, I live on the south side, south side, so's my wife. Starts blowing and a white cap showing, well, you better start storing away. If you're out in the open, well, you better start hoping the storm ain't slowing your way. Here in the marshes, where I always hide. If you're out on the beach and the storm's in reach, wherever you are, it's not that far. Hop in your car, hop in your car, and get rolling. Roll on down to see me sometime. Get rolling. Roll on down to see I live on the south side. South side, and so's my way. So's my wife, sound side, ooh, sound side light. Hoy toyed on the sound side tonight. Sound side. Play bingo. Let's play bingo. Everybody got a card? Yeah. Everybody. All right. Now we play bingo at the corn cake the way it's played the world over. Still, we're going to review the rules just a second. Four up, four across, four diagonal, either diagonal direction. Go on and put uh, one of your dots there from the bottom of the page onto your free fish space in the middle. You'll be ahead of the game. And if you get that magic five in a row, holler out bingo at the top of your lungs so we can identify you and acquaint you with your winnings, which would be what, Jim? Well, tonight's lucky bingo winner will be treated to an all-expenses-paid weekend at the newly refurbished Corn Cake Inlet Inn. <laughs> but not just any room, the fabulous new Jupiter Suite which comes complete with its own private flush bucket and and flounder-shaped jacuzzi. All right, now we're... We're playing bingo tonight on an original 1938 bingo ball ping pong puffer. It's the oldest and it's the only one of its vintage still in operation on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. How's it looking here, Jim? Well, it's been in storage for a little while, but I think it's going to do just fine. Circuits are circulating. Let's play Let's bingo. Let's play bingo. In a hurry. I don't know. It's looking a little rickety. Under the B4, B4. Rotate! Woo, woo. Okay, hum babe, hum babe. Down the pipe, down the pipe. There you go. Made you work for it yeah, that time. Yeah, the buffer almost came off its moorings that time. Sure. All right. Good. Yes, sir. Oh. What's going on? Uh, N34, this is N34. Check it out. All right. Rotate, rotate. rotate. He's crab walking. What's wrong with this thing? I don't know, did it break? It's not acting right. Well, you're going the wrong way, Dixon. Go the other way. Oh, no. Oh, my oh. God! Oh. <laughs> this is terrible. Boys, the puffer is down. <coughs> we really apologize. We, we hope to run a good game here, and we hope to get a legitimate winner. Now, I don't Jim? I don't Jim, we got a room full of winners here, really. Yeah, yeah. A lot of disappointed faces, but a room full of winners. <laughs> Isn't there anything we could do for them? Sure there is, In the Blaine. wake of this disaster? We got it right here. Oh! Rubber worms! Yeah, man! Here's a back 
can for my oh. tennis buddies. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> when they say God bless you, it's time to end the game. <laughs> Folks, that's cohort bingo. You know, that vacation at the corn cake sounds great, but Don, when you really look at this, it's a nice prize for somebody. I don't know. That worm's not much. It doesn't compare at all to those mechanical horseshoe crabs we got at the pavilion that time. Oh, yeah. We'd gone down there to hear, who was it? The showman? The Tams. Cadillacs. No, it was the showman. The Tams. Cadillacs. No, it was Maurice Williams and the Zodiacs. That's right. Oh. Dance in the shag. All right. With those girls from Carolina Beach. Then we took him riding in the swamp, looking for the Mako light. Ooh. And then next day we went fishing. Right. But wait, Kingfish, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's get back to the shag. Oh yeah, the shag. <laughs> Do you boys remember what you used to call me? <laughs> the Sheik of Shag. Very Sheik. Look at that boy, man. He's got it down. Yeah. Well, Don, I wonder when he's going to introduce us to his date. <laughs> That's the best looking date he ever had. <laughs> you pay no attention to them, darling. I'll see you after the show. Oh, yeah. After the show. He'll be over there next to the big fish with a low-sodium V8 and some fat-free chips. <laughs> Just getting down.
Is this the spot where you saw him? Yeah, Jim. It was about 200 yards down the railroad tracks there. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Jim. That ghost has never hurt anybody. Yeah. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of a wreck on the railroad line. A brakeman lost his life and his head, but his ladder still shines. Now some say it's swamp gas or automobiles, explaining that light that appears on the track. But Dr. Hans Holzer says that ghost is real, cause it keeps on coming back. In a dismal swamp of East Carolina, the 1867, one dark night, a brakeman named Joe Baldwin was riding the coastal line. What at the midnight railroad time, the train is pulling into Mako Town, just a wide place along the track for old Joe's light on to shine. He's shining to make go light. Shining to make go light In just a wide place along the track Shining to make go light Suddenly Joe feels something wrong This train slowed down a bit too long Every brakeman's nightmare The caboose had gotten loose The rest of the train Come afraid to come a fast freight up from behind. Two lights on a collision course. Will they see old Joe in time? He starts a waving the make go light. Waving the make go light. Two lights on a collision course. Waving the make go light. Ha! Freight train smashes old Joe's caboose. A kerosene ladder soars in a flash. Twisted rails, it burns on in the pines. They found Joe's body, they, they found, found Joe's head. head. They buried them both, but he's not dead. He's not on dead. a dismal night in a dismal swamp. You can see that lantern shine. Shining the make go light. Shining the make go light. On a dismal night in a dismal swamp. Shining the make go light. And you know he's coming, coming again Waiting for the make o light Ooh, waiting for the make o light Sitting on the track with your bag of beer Waiting for the make o light Waiting now, waiting for the make o light Ooh, waiting for the make o light Sitting on the track with your bag of beer Waiting for the make o light Next day we went fishing <laughs> And I have never seen fish strike like that we're catching them all on rebels right on top of the water. Not reeling, just throw the rebel out under a big old willow bush. And the water was gin clear. You could see a fish come up and point it, just like a bird dog. Stop about three feet under the lure. 
And half the time we get so nervous waiting for the strike, we'd jerk the thing out of the water before the fish ever had a chance to get it. But if you left it in there, he'd point it just for a second. Then he'd go on it, like that. Bet we caught 23 bass in two hours. And after a while, I got hung up in the willow bush, as I inevitably do. Got my lure caught in it. And I said, damn, I'm going to snatch it off. But Don said, don't snatch that lure. By then, I already had it in mid-snatch. And the double bow action of that willow bush and my rod brought that thing back at me so fast. I remember looking. It was like a scene from Bonnie and Clyde, as though the camera had freeze-framed for one moment. I saw that big old rebel coming back at me with all feet pointing forward with barbs on them. <laughs> and I couldn't get my head but about a quarter of a turn. It dug in. Went through the earlobe with one set of treble hooks and down under my eye next to the bone beside my nose with the other. Well, Bland took one look at me and said, You are hung. The barbs are down <laughs> under the skin. No way to get them out. We're going to have to go to the hospital. Well, this distressed Don to no end because for once he didn't want to quit fishing. He said, I got a knife. Maybe what? I can dig it out. That rusty thing? It's got fish guts all over it. Oh, that's going to make it clean. Just trust me. Get that thing away from Don my was face. dead serious. He'd have carved Jim's face off. Without malice, of course, but we wouldn't let him. So we had to drive to the hospital at, where was it? Swan Quarter? Bell Haven. Bell Haven's where we had to drive to. And I had to sit there in the car like an idiot, big old silver topwater rebel dangling off the side of my head. Now this was back before men commonly wore earrings. <laughs> so everybody that drive by, they'd all look over at Jim. <laughs> Finally we got to the hospital and they're changing shifts. Nobody can see us. So I had to sit there in the waiting room in high dudgeon and righteous indignation. Women were bringing their kids in there, pointing at me and whispering. Now, children, this is what happens when these drunken college boys come down here to fish and roll in their tackle boxes. Come on, I'll protect you. <laughs> Finally got in, got one of these clowns for a doctor, jovial Joe type. <laughs> I can always tell when the season begins. Y'all hanging yourselves more than you are fish. Now I know that lure cost $1.75 because I'm a tarpon fisherman myself and mine cost even more than that. But I'm a doctor, I can afford it. But I'm gonna get that lure out of your head without hurting you or the lure either one. I said, well, that's great, but if it comes to hurting the lure, why well, just go ahead and grind it up. Well, he did a nice, neat little operation. First, he touched Novocaine where the barbs went in. Next, he enlarged each hole with a stylus. <laughs> Finally, he hooked a section of dental floss around the whole thing and just jerked and it came right out. <laughs> After it was all over, the doctor, he said, Now you just give me your health card, if you got one. I'll see the nurse fills out the papers. So I hand it over and he sees that I'm UNC Blue Cross student plan, he says. You go to the University of North Carolina? Yes, sir. What's your major? English. English. <laughs> <laughs> did you quote any Shakespeare when that lure got a hold of your head? Yes, sir, I did. Well, what'd you say? And I happen to remember the first thing that Romeo says about Juliet when he sees her at the ball. See how she hangs upon the cheek of night. <laughs> like a rich jewel in an Ethiop's ear. Hey! All right! Let's go roll in some tackle boxes now. I went out fear fishing by La Mescal I took. First I snagged a bluefish, I left him as bait For a big king mackerel I was willing to wait To catch a king, Lord I heard my buddy say If you ever connect, well you better expect a reel for your meal today To catch a king fish, fight him and haul him in Spend your life looking for the thrill again
the end of the T-shaped pier, my reel suddenly whines. A holler at my buddies, put up a dollar on what's at the end of the line. A bland bets on a hammerhead, black bass, Dixon Clay. Well, my dollar's down on the fish with the royal name to catch a king. Lord, I heard my buddy say, if you ever connect, well, you better expect a reel for your meal today. To catch a king fish, fight him and haul him in. Spend your life looking for the thrill again. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody had to lift their pole Tried to step the line on a piling don But I had too good of a hold He was flipping like Mary Lou Rat, But my buddies gaffed him well By then they had quit betting he was something else But he was something else Whoa, eyes the size of quarters Shaped like a 20 pound knife and Both arms to carry him to the cooler And I, I put him on ice A good eating for my buddies and me King steaks to go I decided to forget the money they owed to catch a king. Lord, I heard my buddy say, if you ever connect, well, you better expect to reel for your meal today. To catch a king fish, fight him and haul him in. Spend your life looking for the thrill again, yeah. Whoa, 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 to catch a king. Oh, a big old king to catch a king, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa to catch a king. Twenty years later, you know, that's still my biggest and best king mackerel. Of course, there has been a bluefish or two along the way. Oh yeah, Jim. You know it sure feels good to catch a mess of those fish. Take them home to your baby. It sure does, Bland. Slam them in that smoker. Smoker. Out there on the deck. On the deck. Looking out over the water. Over the water. Wake up, darling. Sun shining on the sea. Fog's lifting yonder's the shore. I do my best to put the world right at your feet. Hang the moon outside your door. I'm taking you down to home on the river Taking you down to that great big old bay Where nothing's forsaken and all is forgiven Oh, love of my life, I want to lead you astray When you found me, I was lonesome and terrified Barely could speak your first name But then you showed me the wonders of the world outside Now I'm trying to do the same Oh, I'm taking you down to a home on the river Taking you down to that great big old bay Where nothing's forsaken and all it Forgiven, oh love of my life I want to lead you astray There's no time like the present For testing the metal of love Be no time like the future, my friend To ponder the heaven Now there's a place in my heart Where peace on earth is close at hand You can go there with me a place where the live old Spanish moss still command Just as far as you can see Oh, I'm taking you down to a home on the river Taking you down to that great big old bay Where nothing forsaken and all it's forgiven oh love of my life i want to lead you astray oh love of my life i want to lead you astray
Ring, a ring. A ring, a ring. A ring, a ring. Hello? Simpson. Dixon, where are you? I'm down at the beach cottage, man. I'm gonna have a hurricane party. Oh, that's great. Why don't I get Jim and we'll come on down? Why don't you get Jim and come on down? Hello? 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 Hey, hey, Jim. Hey, hey, Bland. What's up? Listen, Dixon is down at his beach cottage. He's having a hurricane party. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. He's got that big new widescreen TV. Hey, Bland, let's stop on the way down and pick up some beer. Hey, Jim, let's stop on the way down, pick up some beer. Hello? Hello? <laughs> But I got my friends around me right here, milling about. We're gonna have a party. party. We're gonna ride this thing out. Go on, let it rain. Let's go on, let it rain. Well, I built this house by myself, and it will stand the strain. I've always wanted to be in the eye of a hurricane. Well, there's lightning in the sky And his wonders and his thunders Are coming side by side And that wind is bending hardwoods Look like they want to turn cartwheels I'm gonna put some rocks in my pockets Go out and see how it feels Go on, let it rain So go on, let it
Dune grass waving as I pass through Sea or shuffle to my tune Even the ocean is moved by me I carried smoke for the Indians Many centuries First white child born Virginia Dare I caressed a little teague and ruffled her hair. She and her party lost their place. I took the evidence, there was nothing left to trace. I'm the breeze, I'm the breeze. And I'm always around. I might come from the ocean, come from the sand. I might bring a thunder. I might bring the rain, I just might turn into a hurricane. I'm the breeze, I'm the breeze, I'm the breeze, oh yeah. I can bring the ocean through what was land. Wise men don't build a house upon the sand. But if you do, Feel me at midnight on the back of your neck. You know the spirits and everything that live can't be crowded out. Some got to give. And when I feel that pressure grow, nothing tells me which way to blow. I'm the breeze. I'm the breeze. I might come from the ocean, come from the sand. I might bring a thunder, I might bring the rain. I just might turn into a hurricane. I'm the breeze. I'm the breeze. I'm the breeze. I'm the breeze. I'm the breeze.
from the ocean Come from the sand I might bring the thunder I might bring the rain I just might turn into a hurricane I'm the breeze Thank you for coming to my hurricane party. Oh, it was rough, but we rode it out. Whew. Place sure is a mess, though. Oh, oh yeah. Wrecked, huh? Worms everywhere. <laughs> There's a porpoise in the living room. Well, what's that? Whoa. That looks like one of those new prefabricated structures washing out to sea. Greedhead Villas Condo Clusters. Bermuda Bound. <laughs> Better get back down to corn cake. Help Miss Maddie dig out. Yeah, right, right, right. Catch that midnight bus from Pettigrew Street. Anybody want to go? Sign me up. King Knuckle and the Blues are running all along the coast. Talk about fishing, you can't give the fish away. Everybody's lucky. October and the moon is 
is coming, but the clouds won't give up the ghost. Oh, let the good weather hold one more day. King Mackerel was made possible in part by generous support from Carolina Power and Light. They've got the power to lead. Vanguard Cellular One for the way you live and work. And viewers like you. King Mackerel and the Blues are running all along the coast. Talk about fishing, you can't give the fish away. Everybody's lucky. October and the moon. Coming, but the clouds won't give up the ghost Oh, let the good weather hold one more day Let the good weather hold one more day Let the good weather hold one more day Let the good weather hold one more day